So, 7 a.m., 48 degrees in Florida. Waiting on a pending deposit to clear my bank account, and I think we all know exactly where I'm at right now. Wow! Oh yeah, and the best part, ran out of gas. Life tubes. day to me like all y'all from up north in Canada and all that y'all probably laughing at me right now and be like ha, 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 60 50 degrees in Florida yeah whatever I'm a Florida boy warm weather but anyways welcome back y'all and if we're meeting for the first time my name is Will Beck I'm a local filmmaker and youtuber here in Charlotte County Florida and today I wanted to give you a quick channel update update is from now on, starting today, every Wednesday is going to be a workflow Wednesday. That's right. Every Wednesday, what I'm gonna be doing is give you a quick little tip on how you can increase your efficiency in your workflow whenever you're going to edit video. Now, we all have our own little separate ways that we're going to do workflow and how we edit our video, how we take our photos and videos and put them into something creative and artistic for our YouTube channel. Now, with that being said, it, the if I can make you more efficient, that's gonna save you time. And we all know time is money. That's gonna be our little channel update. I'm really excited about it because as we all know, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to be posting another video. I'm trying to be as consistent as possible. As we all know, the consistency is key, especially whenever it comes to growing your YouTube channel. I just hit 233 subscribers. I am so stoked, 65,000 views. Well, it seems really low for a lot of people. Some people get millions of views and 65,000 views just off of one video. Me, and I'm sure some of you can relate to this. We're struggling to hit that kind of mark. But anyways, until we get there, I'm here for you. And like I said, I'm gonna to try to help you as much as possible. And yeah, we're just gonna kind of grow together. If you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And I just started a brand new Facebook group me and I think one other person's in it right now. It's just going to be helping small YouTubers connect as a community, not for not sub for sub because you know YouTube doesn't like that and like you get banned quick. But anyways, there's a link in down in the description. There's also a link in my description box of the main channel homepage where you can find that. Both my Instagram, go ahead and follow me on there, and the Facebook group, go ahead and find me in there too. So we can just build that community, that network of people. And so anyways, without further ado, we're gonna get this ball rolling with our first Workflow Wednesday. Let's get it. So, a lot of you probably haven't even heard of this already, but it's called Adobe Remix. That's right, Adobe Remix. And what that does is it lets you take a music track, and I'm gonna show you later, but it, it lets you take a music track and adjust the time limit be it forward or backwards shorter or longer to match your clip duration um, or your clip sequence duration and this is going to be epic instead of trimming and cutting and pasting and trying to find the beat and everything else so it looks seamless and you know what I mean like it's frustrating you can pull your hair out it takes a lot of time to really edit your music track to the how you want it to sound so with that being said, we're going to get into Adobe. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and download that. That's what I edited on uh, Premiere Pro. Um, before this was available, just only an audition, 
but now it's something that's available in Premiere Pro, which is epic. This is going to cut your workflow time dramatically. And like I said, I'm just here to help you guys out. And I don't know if you can tell, maybe I should be cutting down on the Red Bull and stuff. Maybe it's because it's cold, but this is gonna be a fun one. Let's go ahead and take it back to the house. I'm gonna open up Premiere Pro and I'm gonna show you a quick little rundown on how this thing works. And then do me a favor, if you find value in this content, smash the like and subscribe button. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite part of this video was and what you'd like to see next. Anyways, let's get it going. All right, we made it back. So first thing I'm gonna do is open up Premiere Pro Beta. Uh, if you're watching this later on, it's probably available in the regular Premiere Pro. But all we're going to do, um, I'm going to clip it. Uh, I'm going to cut this up a little bit just to get, just so it works. I'm going to hit C on the keyboard for the cut tool. I'm going to scroll over a little bit to right here. Cut, right click, ripple delete. And then at the command Z to undo a cut that you don't want to do, obviously. And then I'm going to ripple delete again. Two minutes and 54 seconds. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and cut it down to a minute. Just to keep this as painless as possible. So anyways, uh, we're at one minute and two seconds for a nice little drone clip. Good times, right? So... Now what we need to do is just bring over an audio file. I'm going to hop on the interwebs real quick. Epidemic Sound is where I go for all of my music tracks. So let's see, for your YouTube channel, play. Let's see what this sounds like. And the song is two minutes and 42 seconds long. So, And it has words, so we can really test to see how well this works out. It's a nice beat to it. I'm gonna go ahead and download that, download the full mix. If you don't have Epidemic Sound yet, you definitely gotta try it out. Uh, I have a link in my description where if you click on it, it's an affiliate link. I'll get some free time and then, yeah. To know you, there we go. All right, so. Bring Premiere Pro back up, go to my finder window, bring it back into here. So now, if I drag it over to the timeline, as you can see here, that's way longer, way longer. So, quick and painless, I hit V real quick to get my cursor back. Click on the music track, go to window, open up Essential Sound. Select that track as music. And what you're going to see over here, let me make this a little bit bigger. You have all these different options. I'm gonna click on duration. And what you see here is a remix. That is epic. Target duration. And what I wanna do is you just come over Drag the end of the clip all the way over here. Like I said, painless as possible. Drag it to the end of the clip. Remix, target duration. And there we go, let's see what happens. It's a nice song. I'll probably go and use this later on. I'll use it in this video. God loved that, right?
That's nice. That's nice. That's super nice. Right here, you'll have these little little spots right here. So let's go ahead and listen to what that little edit sound, that little edit sounds like. Edit it right there. Seamless. Guys, that is a game changer for your workflow. And now what you can do if you don't like the way it's editing it, you have the option of coming over here, edit length, and then features obviously, but harmonics and whatnot. But for the sake of this video here, a quick little workflow tu uh, tutorial. This is flawless, man. Like you can increase the edits in case you want to adjust them yourself. Absolutely, I just left this one at five. And there we go. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful little situation there where if you have a song that you're wanting to use and it's just too long, maybe it's too short. Like, you know, like I said, it's a game changer, y'all. Um, for instance, I can just go ahead and drag that video right back over here, right? For the sake of what we're doing. And what does it say? 552? So zero zero colon zero five colon fifty two colon zero zero. Hit return. And here you go. That's a whole edit right there. You can see, you can see how that's looking. Life is good, guys. So not only can you make it shorter, but you can make it longer. Same song, you don't have to redo it and then find the right spots to cut, splice, and everything else. Here we go. We're switching back to the, uh, the video, the beginning of it again. Like I said, it's just the beginning. Seamless. Anyway, so I'm going to pause it from now. I think I beat the... I think I've I think I've beat this like a dead horse. But anyways, thanks again, guys, for tuning in. If you found any sort of value in this content, please don't forget smash that like for me. Hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss another episode. Remember, every Wednesday is going to be Workflow Wednesday from now on. I appreciate it. I'm going to upload this now. My apologies for it being a little bit later today. So maybe I should go ahead and cut it out now. Anyways, guys. Thank you fam for the love and drop down in the comments if this helped you out. Later. I could feel this way.